want to give an update, you know, to the story with, you know, our sister Sasha Johnson. Um, now you remember that she was shot a few days ago, um, directly in her head while she was at a gathering, um, around three o'clock in the morning, uh, over the past, uh, few days. Well, some developments that came, they said they have, you know, arrested two men and three teenagers. Um, have been arrested on suspicion of attempted murder in connection to the shooting of Sasha Johnson. So the police uh, said they had five suspects between the ages of 17 and 28, uh, where they were all arrested yesterday as part of a police operation by the forces violence suppression unit and remain in custody. Um, they said that while the investigation remains in the early stages, these arrests show that progress is being made. Yet they're saying they're appealing to those who may hold information that led up to the events uh, of Sasha receiving her horrific injuries and are, are those responsible to do the right thing and come forward to speak to the police. Now they said the 17 year old was arrested on suspicion of possession of an offensive weapon and possession with the intent to supply class A drugs as after a traffic stop of uh, the previous day. They said that the investigations led them to an address in Peckham where the three others as they were arrested on suspicion of a fray and possession with intent to supply class B drugs. So they said the fifth uh, man, he's 25 years old, as they was arrested later that evening following the police pursuit of a car in Peckham. Uh, they said that he was arrested on a suspicion of a fray and failing to stop for police. They all five uh, have since been arrested on suspicion of attempted murder and remain in custody. Um, now they talk about that uh, basically you know, these arrests are the result of instinctive local police work combined with fast time intelligence gathering and shows the effectiveness of various police teams in the Met working together. Now this is what they're saying here, the police, but her party, you taking the initiative party, uh, said there's some things that, you know, was not really paid attention to like four weeks prior, she had a break in into her vehicle and only thing they stole, they didn't steal a vehicle, they just stole her megaphone that she used when she's at the rally. Now, originally the police said, well, there was no really credible threats that led up to that, but yet she was still getting death threats. Um, also, um, they said that they quickly said, oh yeah, it was for black men. What well, the people said at the party, it, you couldn't really see who it was because they were wearing masks, basically. They were wearing like those ninja style masks. So they said that the guys, the four people came in the side gate they started a ruckus. One person got stabbed. Then in the midst of that person getting stabbed, they start shooting, but they only shot Sasha. Nobody else got shot. So, you know, normally when somebody just starts shooting indiscriminately, other people get hit. No, Sasha was the only person to get hit, you know, with the gunshots, nobody else. So the people are saying, well, if it was just some random fight, and they were just shooting randomly at whoever. Why is it that she was the only one got shot? Nobody else got shot. Nobody got wounded. Nothing else happened. Just her, um, her party taking the initiative party is saying that the police have come to this conclusion that it's just some, you know, uh, gang violence or whatever. I even speaking to her, not looking into some things. They say they just questioning everything that's going on. Now, of course we know what the official narratives are. Uh, that's what they, you know, putting out right now. Um, you know, I even spoke to Richard Sudan and basically that's, that's the same thing that he's being told, um, as well, uh, with this situation. But you know me, I, I, I look more into it than that. Cause you know, they will use black folks to carry out their dirty work. Okay. That's, that's go back to look at Nipsey hustle. Now that dude that killed Nipsey hustle, we know that was crazy because he killed Nipsey, kicked Nipsey, then went drove to a mental health facility and turn himself in at a mental health facility What hardcore criminal turns himself in at a mental health facility. Then when, when he gets arrested, he go to court, Christopher Darden walks in to protect, to, you know, uh, be his lawyer. No, that kind of dude ain't got no money for Christopher Darden. So where that come from? Like, like it's just all this, this craziness that happened with, with Nipsey hustle. We know there are certain people in the black community that they allowed to be around terrorizing. Listen, you see a one dude, he always out of jail. He been arrested a thousand times. He's still in the community because he's being used by them folks to, to terrorize the community or even commit hits 
on black people in the community. That's why when they say, oh, CC is black on black crime, CCC, that don't mean nothing. Look at Fred Hampton. Who did they use to, to, to poison Fred Hampton? Did they, well, did they do it? No, they used William O'Neill to go do that. It's a lot of people that have been used in a black community to bring harm and even death to other black people. So you don't sit up there and make me like, oh my God, we need to stop hurting each other. No, I want to know what the ties are. What are the ties? What they got on them? Who are these people? These people, they arrested. They say they suspicious of them. They said they charged them. But well, where's the evidence of that? You know, I don't just accept that just cause they say that. I mean, just I've done this too long. And, and, and if you're just some random person, like they, they were kind of, they did it too, too coordinated from what is being reported. This is what they're saying. They're saying that one guy got stabbed and the other, and when the story shooting starts happening, Sasha's the only one that got shot, nobody else. And you say that's not targeted. Nobody else got shot at all. The guy that said he got stabbed, they say he was discharged from the hospital. Where's this guy? Why isn't he speaking out? He was at the party, obviously. Now, they also, they said the police is guarding Sasha's room. Well, Sasha isn't a suspect. Sasha's a victim, but the police are guarding her room. Well, what's going on? Yes, the family is there too, but what's going on? We just have to ask some questions. That's all. We just have to think a little bit because we know what we're dealing with here globally, right? But when we pray our sister, you know, definitely, you know, will pull through because, you know, the, the, her children, you know, need their mother back. That's for sure. Um, but also I will say this at the same time, you know, we got to know, you know, what we're dealing with here. And if we, you know, make sure we have the right people around us, you can't, when you are in certain, um, things that you're doing. You can't be in an area where you're not protected. You understand? I mean, she was a national figure. So national figures can't hang out where everybody hangs out. It, it just bottom line, you just can't because you're too much of a target. And you know, people like Tupac and others, you know, when they want to you know, keep hang around, you know, the people or say, I'm going to do this. I ain't, I ain't like, no, no, no. When you get to certain levels, you got to move a certain way because that's when they look for opportunities to get at you. You understand? Whoever these people were and whatever their motives were, because I, you know, me until I, to you, to I read or I find out different, you know, my mind said, I, I, I just suspect, I say, I suspect that, that they working for them folks because they, because they trust me. As long as they could chalk it up to quote unquote black on black crime, they, they, that's, they love to do that. Because if they do it and shoot, it's going to be a national worldwide scandal if they do it. But no, they do it all well. Cause they know how some black folks are silly. Some black folks believe that and then won't keep reporting on it or it get quiet all of a sudden. No, it's not going to get quiet because I'm just looking at the way things were done and we just want more answers, but leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation with our sister, Sasha Johnson. Sasha definitely, you know, loved her community. She was a hardcore fighter. You can type in, you know, her name on this channel and you can see the numerous videos, you know, that she done here. Um, and, and like I said, we just pray that she, you know, pull through this, she'd be better than ever. Um, because like I said, it's, it's definitely, you know, a tragic thing that's happened. And, you know, to all those white supremacists where I wrap up too, that's, you know, cheering for this and, and, and saying that, that you hope she dies and, 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 and saying the shooter did a good thing. I said, may the curse of God fall upon you and your family. I hope you all the days of your life and your family's life is cursed because you know what I say, cause all you want to do is, is take, is take pleasure in, in death. And that's what needs to come to you. The economy and job market are picking up quickly. If you're a job seeker looking to advance your career, or if you're an entrepreneur looking to start or expand your business, brightpathsearch.com has the resources to assist you. For job seekers at any stage, brightpathsearch.com can perfect your resume and cover letter, help you prepare for your interview and offer leads for networking. For entrepreneurs, brightpathsearch.com can help you get access to government contracts or even help you start your business. There's no need to go edit alone. For a free consultation for job seekers or small business services, email j at brightpathsearch.com or visit the website www.brightpathsearch.com.
Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the African Diaspora News Channel app in the Google Play and Apple App Store.